Let us also offer our response to Alan's challenges by turning in the green book, Sing the Journey, to number 95. When we have run with patience the race, we shall know the joy of Jesus. Let us stand to sing number 95. Thank you, Dr. Kreider, for that stirring message. I pray that AMBS will be a school of patience. Hadn't thought about it that way before. But reflecting on the commissioning service last night when many of us were present, thought about the transformation that was in evidence in the lives of our graduates and the patient work that led toward that transformation. It was a glowing service. I told my husband afterward, I have the best job in the world. You observe lives transformed. We every year name a distinguished alum, alumnae or alumni. 
Our graduates are all over the world, involved in patient work, transformative work of the gospel, and as a way of giving thanks and acknowledging that work, we identify one person each year. Janine Birchie Johnson is our Director of Alumni Relations and she is not able to be here, so it is my honor to announce that the 2016 Alumni Ministry and Service Recognition is being presented to Linda Shelley, Mennonite Mission Network's Latin America Director. Linda graduated from AMBS in 1989 with a Master of Arts in Peace Studies degree. She lived in Latin America for more than eight years, serving with Mennonite Central Committee in Bolivia and Honduras. She also worked for a total of 12 years in two different time periods at the MCC headquarters in Akron, Pennsylvania. Linda moved back to Kansas in 2001 to support her parents during her father's illness and death and was called to become Mennonite Mission Network's regional director for Latin America. In addition to supporting mission workers in Latin America, coordinating programs and connecting North American and Latin American congregations and conferences, Linda has been a key person in starting the Global Anabaptist Women's Network. She serves in as, as an advisor to the Latin American Anabaptist Women Theologians Movement and has helped Mennonite women bring sister care training to Central America. Scott Litweiler, an AMBS staff person who was supervised by Linda while doing work in Ecuador, says that Linda has a great passion for Latin America. She is very knowledgeable and caring for her workers and the communities they are in. In addition to her role with the network, Linda is vice president of the board of directors for Mennonite World Review. She was a 2002 winner of the Journey Award from Everance for stewardship of gifts and resources. She is a member of First Mennonite Church in Newton, Kansas, where she has served on the Outreach Commission and in other roles. Linda will be featured in the summer issue of the alumni newsletter, and in the fall she will visit AMBS to make a presentation about her ministry and to be honored by the AMBS community. Let's honor her now with applause as well. We are pleased this afternoon to present 10 women and eight men who make up the AMBS graduating class of 2016. Three candidates will be receiving certificate in theological studies. One candidate will receive the Master of Arts a Christian Formation degree. Two candidates will receive the Master of Arts Peace Studies degree. And three candidates will receive the Master of Arts Theological Studies degree. Three of our candidates are graduating in absentia. Thanks to you, our very soon to be graduates of AMBS, for choosing our community as a place to learn and to continue your preparation for ministry. Our community has been enriched by your presence among us. And we send you forth with God's blessing and we pray that God's spirit will empower you and to the ministries in which you are being called. 
At this time, I invite President Sarah Winger Shank to come to the podium to confer the certificates and the degrees. Eighteen candidates have followed courses of study prescribed by the faculty of Anabaptist Mennonite Biblical Seminary. And by action of the teaching faculty and the AMBS Board of Directors, they are hereby recommended for certificates and degrees as follows. Will the candidates for their certificate in theological studies please stand? Upon recommendation of the board and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the faculty and the board of the Anabaptist Mennonite Biblical Seminary, I confer upon you the certificate in theological studies with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto, of which the certificate you receive shall be a written testimony. May you use these rights and privileges as a befitting disciple of Jesus Christ, servant of God, and minister of the church in the power of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidate for the Master of Arts Christian Formation please stand? The candidates for the Master of Arts Peace Studies degree please stand? And the candidates for the Master of Arts Theological Studies please stand? Upon recommendation by the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Anabaptist Mennonite Biblical Seminary Board, I confer upon you, Charlene, the Master of Arts in Christian Formation degree, and upon you, Austin and Sandra, the Master of Arts Peace Studies degree, and upon you, Alexandra, Annika, and Naomi, the Master of Arts Theological Studies degree with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto, of which the diploma you receive shall be a written testimony. May you use these rights and privileges as befitting disciples of Jesus Christ, servants of God, and ministers of the Church in the power of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the Master of Divinity degree please stand? Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Anabaptist Mennonite Biblical Seminary Board, I confer upon you the Master of Divinity degree with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto, of which the diploma you receive shall be a written testimony. May you use these rights and privileges as befitting disciples of Jesus Christ, servants of God, and ministers of the Church in the power of the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. You may be seated. At this time, the graduates will come forward as their names are called. And I will ask you in the audience to hold your applause until all of the, uh, all the graduates have returned to their seats. And at that time, you, there will be a signal for you to raise a joyful, holy ruckus. James Matthew Branham. Congratulations. Carl N. Stutzman. Congratulations. 
Charlene R. Mast. Austin James Roberts. Congratulations. Sandra Jean Stevens. Alexandra Merriweather Brown. Congratulations. Elizabeth Annika Krauss. Naomi Ruder Winger. Congratulations. Katerina Marie Friesen. Thomas Kyle Hughes. <laughs> Joel David Ickes. Alyssa Rochelle Mezik. Congratulations. Gabriel Ray Belil Pennington. Laurel Denise Mast Schwarzendruber. Congratulations. Matthew Curtis Yader. And let the ruckus begin. Yeah.